Hello everyone. Welcome to Python Guides. My name is Vineet and today we will learn how to drop duplicates in Pandas. Pandas provides a function with the name drop duplicates that allows us to remove the duplicate values from the dataset. It, it, it also facilitates us to remove a specific column or list of columns from the dataset. So these are the options that we can pass with this uh, function that is subset key keep in place ignore index so these are the default values that are mentioned so we will be seeing all these options step by step so let's get started and i will move on to my jupyter notebook first thing first i will import pandas as pb i have my data set ready with me so i will just paste it and here is the data set So if I just check the rows and columns of the data set, the data set. So there are six rows and five columns. The first operation that we are going to perform is simple drop duplicate that will be applied on entire data set on and on entire columns. we have not passed any kind of option with this one so you can see uh, now we have uh, till four index so you can see uh, last one has been deleted so the reason behind deletion of this last column is last row is sorry it has an identical values you can see the name Vimal the department is same as in in the first in the index number one marketing designation is also same all the values are same that is why it has been deleted so what it does by default it keeps the first occurrence and it removes the remaining occurrences now if we want to delete if we want to remove the duplicate from a specific column so let's for that we have to use subset so let's do df dot drop duplicates and we have to pass the name of the column column under subset so in my case i will be passing department let's run it so you can see the first occurrences has been collected and it has been displayed over here the remaining occurrences has been removed so in the department we have only two categories that is software and market marketing so uh, first two occurrences has been recorded and remaining has been deleted now let's perform uh, now let's see how how we can implement this thing on multiple columns so for performing it on multiple columns we have to use subset but this time we have to uh, we have to pass list of columns in in the subset So let's take department. So in this way, we can pass multiple column names. And the other column we are going to provide is designation. So you can see, now you might be confused like why uh, software has appeared two times and marketing also has appeared two times. So there is some kind of matrix uh, format that has been followed. And uh, you can see now uh, when we are performing with multiple columns, we need to see both the columns. Software has senior develop, uh, senior SDE. Then we have marketing has manager, software has SDE, marketing has agent. So none of these are, have been repeated. So it is the just first occurrence has been recorded here. So you can consider this as a best, uh, all the possible uh, unique combination has been displayed over here in respect to the department and designation. Moving forward, we have keep. So what does keep do? Keep allows us to keep, the, as, a, as the name suggests, it allows us to keep the rows that we want to, like it, it, are, it has three options. Either, either we can store the first, uh, first occurrence, that is by default, sorry. 
or we can keep uh, keep the last occurrence or if we will set it to false then it will remove all the values that have uh, dupli uh, uh, duplicacy any row that has um, duplicacy it will be removed all the occurrences will be removed for that so now let's perform it so we will be using this one for this purpose keep equals to first see if i since i am have passed first so it will be similar to this one on the top because it by default takes first but if i will convert it to last then it will display an output as varun and vimal that means index number 3 no index have a uh, software after index number 3 and no index have a uh, marketing after num uh, index number 4 oh i am sorry uh, this one number 5 this is the original data set so let's do one thing we let's create one second so that is why varun because it was the last in the list uh, in the row and vimal because it was the last for the marketing now what what will happen if we will pass false for this one if i will just pass false it has removed uh, like it has shown nothing because uh, the reason is department there are two departments that is software and marketing and both have multiple occurrences so any value is having multiple occurrences it will be deleted and all the occurrences will be deleted that is why nothing has been displayed so let me de replace department with the name so that we can understand this thing so if i just run it over here you can see we had vimal two times so that that's why vimal has been removed moving forward we have in place so so far you you must have noticed that we have performed so many operations but we are still able to uh, continue it without storing it into a, uh, any variable so let's say if i will type though we have performed operations over here on over here but still if you will uh, type df it will show us the original data set so what if we want to make it what if we what if we want to store this value in the df so what we have to do manually we have to do like this we will uh, store the value inside the data frame or df so now it will show now this will source similar uh, information but what does uh, in place do it it does the same thing like uh, it has happened over here so let me refresh the data once again so what it will do if if i will type in place over here and set it to true and then let me run it so you can see the output of this line is this now if i will run this once again you can see the data has been saved into a df so it saves the data then and there moving forward we have ignore indexes so you can notice on this line over here you can notice we have indexes as 0 2 3 4 and the operation that we have performed is we have deleted a name a name uh, and the vimal name has been deleted it has been de both the occurrences has been deleted because we have set the keep to the false so what i can do to arrange it once again like if we want if if we want this index number to be rearranged like it should come like 0 1 2 3 Oh, so what we can do? We can use the i g n o r e ignore index, and we can set it to true. By default, it is false, and we can set it to true. And now, when we are going to run this uh, uh, block, you can see 
okay i am so sorry uh, because we have run in place over here we have to we have to refresh the data set once again so now now if i just run this line once again i have the complete data in front of me so let me copy this line and just play it here so now since i uh, if i will not use this it will show me 0 2 3 4 but if i will set it to two it will start showing me 0 1 2 3 so this is how we can work with a uh, drop duplicate function and hope you have understood about this in case if you have any query you can just leave a comment in the comment section and thank you for watching our video have a great day bye bye